Hey guys, Smitty here! As far as you know, Musa will be released in next update. If you didn't check Ascended Musa and bought Maeva's Ascended and Awakening Forms reviews, make sure to watch them too and subscribe to channel to not miss more content about Black Desert Mobile. In that video I'll overview Musa Awakening Form and tell you my personal verdict about him in the end of the video. Also, since that is the last overview of the four upcoming classes, I will compare them and give you my personal preference between them all. Just like Awakening Maeva, Musa changes his katana to a two-handed weapon, but instead of a spear, he chooses a similar yet different weapon – glaive. His skills animations now will have a fire effects and particles, though he won't have any elemental skills, just for style purpose. First skill being the most useless one, slams his target after a brief jump, applying bond effect, has no immunity, neither good damage. Second skill does a fast combination of 5 hits, knocking up enemies, has great damage output and branches, but no immunity, can be used as damage filler in stunlock combo. Third skill is very similar to second, does a combination of 3 attacks applying bond effect, has super armor in arena, has branches and heals Musa by 420 HP at level 1, but the damage is quite low compared to second skill, and due to bone CC, I would suggest you using it as a counter skill or finisher, and not in stunlock combo. Poor skill is his first ranged ability, similar to Berserker's waves, similar damage, also two casts, but instead of knockback has daze effect, perfect for stunlock combo. Super armor in field that can be changed to forward guard if needed. Fifth skill is basic melee rush, super armor in arena and stun, and a perk that increases the travel distance. Sixth skill is similar to Awakening Maeva Thrust skill. Also charges a powerful attack unleashing a horizontal slash, and just like Maeva can use other skills to increase cast speed, super armor in field and decent damage output amplified with branches. 7th skill is the same skill as Ascended Maeva and Musa have. Backward jump with invulnerability and stun. 8th skill is only used for PvE, has medium range reach, low damage, branches and dates on hit. 9th skill completing the list of useless skills deals a 3 hit combo, knocking up enemies hit, has super armor in field and branches, though the damage is awful, even at level 3 where it gains an extra hit that doubles the skill damage, DPS still remains very low, long cast and poor reach. The fact of having super armor means you will have to use it in mass PvP, but only when you really need to avoid CC. At last 11th skill is a double slash combination, with movement in process, decent damage but no branches, apply bound but has no immunity, great for PvE, but can also be used in stunlock combo in PvP. Overall, I don't find Awakening Musa as strong as it seems. He is similar to Berserker, but stands far behind in all aspects. And I'm not even talking about Berserker's buff, that leaves no chances to Musa. In PvP I felt quite limited, not to talk about low combo damage. If we compare the stunlock combo damage of Awakening Maeva, the difference stands for 2000% damage, and Maeva is also faster. Finishing with this review, as promised I will rank the 4 upcoming classes. First of them being Ascension Musa, second Awakening Maeva, and third spot will be shared by both Ascension Maeva and Awakening Musa, just because I can't decide which of the two is better or worse. In PvP they all felt different, but on same level. Mass PvP would hurt them all on the same level. In PvE and DPS number 1 showed the best results, and number 2 wasn't far behind. On that note I'm finishing the upcoming Bladers overviews. Hope that this content was helpful and enjoyable to watch. As always, to finish the review, I prepared some PvP matches on Awakening Musa on Korea. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And of course, enjoy!
tell me, don't tell me why. I know, no, no, you won't save my life. Save my life. 